Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Forotech so at another custom rom by the developer Vikasa Optimus has been released on the 23rd July called as the Cherry OS this is the most customizable rom by the developer first time previously we seen the Awaken OS nameless Pixel Experience Plus by the same developer but all of these roms have the low to the mid level of customizations but the Cherry OS is the highly customizable rom with the well balance of performance Today in this video we will see the stability of the ROM including the camera test, safety net etc. I will discuss all the special customization features of the new ROM, performance test and at the end we will see the bugs and my final verdict. So watch the video till then now with the further ado, let's get started. As this is the initial build, we need to download the full update package and flash it via TWRP. You can watch the right side iCard video. The process of flashing is same as shown in that video. So the flashing of ROM has been completed and we rebooted to the system. ROM has its own signature boot animation and finally booted with the old Pixel phone setup. After completing the setup, we get the Pixel launcher home screen with the new Cherry Show stock wallpaper. Let's jump to the about phone section. So here. We get the Cherry Shows logo on the top of the setting. Now every ROM which is releasing has the Android version as the 12L with the new stereg. Maintainer of this ROM is the Vikasa Optimus, so it's guaranteed that we'll get the regular updates. Security patch is of 5th July 2022. Kernel version is Primus 4.9.258, built out with the Google client tool chain 14.0.2. Obviously, ROM has the latest kernel, so we'll get the better performance that we'll see in the test. Say Linux is the enforcing build date of the ROM is the 23rd July 2022. This is initial and the first build so I tested all the basic functionalities are working or not like the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth, NFC, GPS, alert slider, auto brightness, all the sensors, all the things are just perfect. So I will not waste the time to show these things. We will test the safety net check, ROM is passing the safety net so we can use any security related application on this ROM. Wide one security level is still on L3 so we can't stream the Netflix and Amazon Prime at full HD resolution. ROM is encrypted so even if your device got stolen your data is safe. ROM has the unlimited photo backup for the Google photo application. ROM comes with the call recording but it's broken saying the call recording failed notification. Whenever you tap on the call recording tap. Incoming and outgoing OLTE and the WhatsApp, Telegram, IMS calls are working good without the issues. Let's see the camera application. ROM has the simple cam inbuilt in the ROM, so I installed the latest Gcam MGC stable build. Here this is the 4 year old device has the decent camera quality but don't accept too much improvement. Like all the custom ROM camera has some features working and some features not. Like it has the working night sight, portrait mode for the both the front and the back camera but the blur stent is not good for the selfie cam. In the video recording, slow motion is not working as usual, while the time lapse is working good. Panorama and the photosphere modes are working. 4K 60fps recording is not working in the camera. Camera has the HDR Plus modes and is working perfectly. You can install the OnePlus camera application, but it also has some issues. Only Siberia and the Evolution X has the fully working camera applications. Now let's check out the instant customization that ROM offers. ROM has the separate setting tab called as the Cherry setting, which has all the customization inbuilt like the status bar, quick setting, themes, etc. Status bar tab has all the old customizations like the date and the clock style, traffic indicators, 4G icons, Holte icons, etc. In the themes tab, we get some new settings layout similar to the Spark OS. Here we get the layouts like the Cherry Clean, Cherries, Oxonos 12, Oxonos 11 and the AOSP style settings looks, which gives a different look to your device. We also get the complete black theme for the dark theme, some clear all button customizations we get here, we can change the style of this button along with its background. ROM has the bunch of the body fonts, it has different icon shapes, which helps to give the different look to the overall system, app drawer and the home screen. ROM has the icon pack set, but we can also apply the individual icons to the signal and the Wi-Fi icons in the status bar. Under the button tab, we get the volume rocker wake up toggle, actually I've seen this feature in many ROMs, but none of it's working, but here it's worked perfectly. Similarly in other ROMs, screen of animation seems not work for me when we kept enabled the ripple unlock animation, but here it's working along with it. Double tap to sleep and wake both are working on the lock screen. ROM has the media art covered and the pulse setting both are working very good. 
Media art cover setting may sometimes cause the heavy lag for me, but as soon as I left the setting, that lag got solved. I think it's the bug of the ROM. You can apply the music pulse on the lock screen, on the AOD screen, or anywhere in the ROM on the navbar. It has heavy customization options. You can check out them yourself after flashing the ROM. In the notification tab, you get the new reticker toggle to enable the new notification replacement for the heads up. Artwork media background is the another setting to apply the media artwork to the now playing card in the notification panel. ROM has the advanced ambient edge lightning which has the different tunables and is working very good. In the old video of the Spark OS, this setting is not working. In the game space, you get the bunch of the advanced toggle to disable or enable some options to avoid the game interference. I just use a sound clone to test the game space. Here one thing I noticed that it has new system info bar at the top of the different overlay cards. It has the time, CPU load, CPU temperature and the battery percentage notification. Different overlay cards has the different card settings like the performance standard, battery, disable gestures, FPS overlay, heads up and the screen stay awake cards. Except this ROM has the OnePlus setting in build which is seen in the old ROMs like the Awaken OS, Spark OS etc. So I will not elaborate them here again, but one setting called as the touchscreen gesture setting is working in the ROM as it seems buggy till the date for the old ROMs. It's fixed so we can use the different gestures on the off-screen mode to use the different apps by using the gestures. Remember these gestures will not work on the always on display. Other customizations like the color modes available under the display setting which has the natural boost rate standard and the adapt to colors profiles along with the red, green and the blue color setting. Some old picture gestures are available under the system and under the gesture tab. Here we will guess the back tab gesture, quickly open the camera by double pressing the power button, system navigation, one handed modes, press and hold power button to access the google assistant, double tap to wake the phone gestures. ROM also has the OT updater which gives the notification for the new updates or you can manually check the updates and download and flash them. Digital Wellbeing app is the inbuilt in the main setting of the ROM, so the most of the things are discussed. Now we'll see the performance of the ROM. Even though the ROM is heavily customized, I did not feel the lag or the slowdown anywhere in the ROM, except the lag while using the lost screen media artwork setting, which seems the bug in the ROM. After testing the Geekbench test for the single core, I got the score of 509, and for the multi core, I got the score of 2125, which is very good score. For OpenGL drivers I got the score of 2226 and for the Vulkan graphics I got the score of 1849. All these scores are pretty good and these scores reflects in the performance of the ROM. Now we will see the bugs in the ROM, except the lag in the media art setting, OK Google voice activation is still not working for me. But this time even if we kept enable this tab, video playback in the YouTube are working without the issues. There will be no any force close while using the volume buttons in the landscape mode. Sometimes there will be the force close of setting application after applying the customizations. These are all the minor bugs except there is no issues I seen in the ROM. So this is all about the Cherry Switch which is highly customizable ROM with the pretty good performance with the less bugs. And as this ROM is maintained by the Optimus Prime who is the known for the timely support via OT update. So I will definitely recommend you to go for this ROM instead of Spark OS which is the similar alternative of this ROM. That's it guys for today, if you think I help you then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.